to Crazy Nuts. Ten minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Oh, let's start the timer. Bidding. TNT, what up? Jonas, uh, let's just jump into it, man. What, what, what does love mean to you? What's your definition oh, of Lord. love? Hmm? Lord, all right. What does that mean to you? Man, you're going to make me start crying. <laughs> I'm not here to make you start crying. I don't even know. I don't, I just need a, um, I don't even love myself. Right, let's see here. To me, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. man, it's mm -hmm. uh, it's hard to put into words sometimes. It is very hard to put into words, and it means something different to everybody. Yeah. And that's why I feel like it. it's good that we should have this conversation. Yeah. I don't think people honestly think about what criteria uh, love or what criteria has to be met in order for it to mean love to them. Yeah, well, and that's different, man. Like Because like the love between like a friend like even like an unspoken love like you know nah, what i mean like no nah, we talking about fucking oh about so you're talking pure <laughs> yeah, pure we talking a love love ro romantic relationship yeah, type love are you dude. talking like but are you talking like lust lo like you like lusty love well, like that's lust now isn't it right. that's not love okay, that's um, lust we're talking about doing the wild thing with your special someone oh uh now Jones Wait, hold has on, been. Now I'm confused. Are we talking about the actual Jones, act Jesus of sex Christ, or the act... man? <laughs> man, you ask no. vague questions. I want to know what love is. I want you to tell me. I want to know what love um, is. I think it's someone. the The way that I start feeling I like I could potentially it. love someone yeah. is like, okay, so like when I'm not around them, I'm thinking about them all the time. Okay, so when, it is that you, an infatuation. Not necessarily, because I was getting more into it. There's, there's multiple parts. Well, you did say when you're not around, you're thinking about them. We're going to go step by step. Oh, that's like, I so mean, step yeah, by, missing so when, them, so I So an, an infatuation with yeah. them. And I, uh, like, if, I, if, if I'm talking to them, like, I don't want to stop talking to them. Okay. Like, you know, where, you know, sometimes you have people that you're seeing or dating or talking to, and you're just like, Man, I, I need a day from them. All right, so yeah. so you have to have a rapport with them. Yeah, rapport. Okay. Um, there has to be. I mean, the biggest thing for me is trust, integrity. Trust. Yeah, like if if here if you if some if I'm seeing someone, the quickest way to make me disinterested is to f f me find out you're lying about anything, even the smallest little thing. That's fair. Because it it breaks that immediately, and I'm like, it's so hard to get that back for me. Like, That's I'll give fair. you the shot of a doubt up front. But, like, this, I'm really perceptive, so, like, and, and I pay attention to details, so, like, if you start talking about something and later you talk about it again and it, it's not the same story or it's a little different, yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, I'm like, yeah. why are you trying to impress me for, or, you know, are you lying? Are you trying yeah. to impress me? Uh, and, well, and also, I've had people, uh, women in the past, where, like, they pretend like they're gung-ho and ha a really sex have a high sexual appetite, and then later... <laughs> You know, they're like, oh, I've, I've actually had people say, like, you know, like, well, I just, I tell guys that when I first meet them because that's what guys want. And I'm like, so you're roping dudes in thinking that you're all about having sex. I don't know if you want to admit that one. but <laughs> No, but no, no. But no, in my defense. Might be speaking about your D game no, a little no, bit. No, 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 no. I don't know. How's your D game? D game? I, I'm GGG, yo. I don't even know what that means, yo. That means uh, <laughs> dog. That means that you are a <laughs> dog. GGG is a. I don't even know what it stands for. Good something given. It means that like when what it means is that you are a sexual partner who is about your partner's stuff too. Like oh, you're you're okay. not just about getting off. You're like you know what? I'm gonna make sure okay. you're good too, girl. A, a selfless lover. Yeah, like yeah, like yes. you're like okay, cool, yeah, I'll I'll, I'll do my deed, but like I'm gonna no. make sure you're taken care of too because. You know, I've heard this from lots of women that a lot of dudes are like, well, they just want to walk in, stick it in. They get theirs done. They're like, time for sleep. And they're like, but I didn't even get turned on yet. Yeah, that, <laughs> I mean, you're, there's definitely going to be guys out there not as attentive as others. But, you know, all that has to come to fruition. Like, there's a lot to me. And I'm like, I'm kind of like what I guess would be like sapiosexual where it's like the intelligence. I have to have an intellectual connection. With, there's, dude, there's, there's a many, many how, parts. How many, how, many, how many people have you said you love? I love you too is the real question here is um, it more than 10 less no than 10? it's less than less than 10 probably okay, okay. yeah yeah i would have to say is i can count it on one hand i've said it to probably two girls in my entire life yeah and, i mean uh, not counting family because i told my family i love them all the time obviously <laughs> so, i don't know, I'm <laughs> hope you're not going around telling you know your your grandma that you love her and then trying to jump in bed with her that would be weird no um but yeah i don't know so those are you brought some very good points to me i'm very 
I'm very guarded of my feelings. Yeah. I don't know if it's, uh, you know, like my own emotional baggage or whatever. But to me, love means that I I feel like I have to say it. Like, it, it's more of a feeling thing to me. It's not necessarily a bunch of criteria because, like, yeah, if you're a liar, I'm going to take that in consideration. But Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, if you're hot, then I can probably look past Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't know. It is not. I mean, being attentive is is cool, um, but you know, I, I don't know necessarily know if there's like a set criteria that a person has. As long as you're not like a heroin addict, then you got a good chance. Yeah. But for me, it's like a feel out thing. Like the last time I said it, it was like I felt it deep in my heart that I wanted to say it to the person, okay. but I don't. I would only speak. I would only speak to him over the phone. I'm not an over the phone guy. If there's something I got to say, if there's something I feel like I need to discuss or, or if there's something important to me, I feel like I need to convey. I want to say it in person. Yeah. So it had been a year into the relationship and I was finally like, I got to tell her next time I saw her, I was like, look, I love you. And I've been wanting to say it for a week now or like, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And it was like, and I just, I really feel like I have to say it. Felt weird just saying it right there because I've never used that, use that, use those words yeah, too that often. Verbiage. But yeah, so I don't know. I don't know if I can really say what it means to me. It's just that you, it's more of like you just know. I just, yeah. Know. Like I was just trying to help explain what goes into that feeling because, yeah, like, because yeah, yeah. any of those things that I talked about, if that's not there, I'm not going to have that feeling to want to yeah, say it anyway. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, you know, and it's, and oh, I'm super guarded too, man. Like, you know, and I'm uber independent. Cause I've been on my own since I was like 17. So like, it's hard for me to let people want to do things for me. Like mm. if they, even if they offer, no, I want you to do some stuff. For me. Um, you know, it was, uh, it. it was funny because even when I had COVID, uh, somebody I've been seeing and talking to for quite a while now was like, Hey, let me, let me help. Let me help take care of you. Let me order you some food or something. And I was like, no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. And then like later that day I was like, Man, she was just trying to help take care of me, man. Like, so I was like, if you still want to order me food, I will gladly accept it. That's me being, in, uh, you know, being too independent. And I, dude, I've been trying. Okay, you had a chick want to buy you food, or was it a dude? That was a chick. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. She wanted to send me food because she was like, "Well, you're sick and you don't feel good. Like, I want, I can't come there and help take care of you, but I can order you some food." Jesus. And I was like, "That's kind." I, so I, I called them back later, and I was like, "You know." I thought about it. It's actually really touching. If you still want to do it, awesome. If not, I understand because I told you no earlier, but it was just me being too prideful or whatever. Did she get you food? Yeah. She ordered me two meals. Whoa. Yeah. Like, Jody, yeah. Look at Jody getting and, bought food by these and, broads. And, uh, yeah, dude. And like, so, and honestly, it's funny that you brought this up because I, uh, I've been working, I've just recently have been working on trying to like be like, okay, I need to not be so guarded, be a little more open and vulnerable with people and say some things. Yeah, you, you have to be because if you're not, then you're never going to really find it. Yeah, and that's know? interesting because I, and I was be reading open. a little bit about it and like I, I, I equated being vulnerable with something different because what, I don't know what I thought it was. But because I'm not, I'm not the greatest with emotion, right? I'm kind of dead inside. But you know, neither here nor there. Um, you know, we're men in America, <laughs> right? But but like even like it, it, what I what I read and it really spoke to me was like. If you don't tell someone, somebody about how like you appreciate them as a person in your life, whether it's your friend, a lover, whatever, you're never going to develop deeper connections with those people. And like, if you never tell them, you're absolutely not going to develop any sort of deeper connection with anybody else. And if you okay, do, okay. and they respond negatively, then you can re-question that and be like, well, I guess they're not as close to me as I thought they were. And you can spend your energy on somebody else. Okay. So it's not like I'm going to go to like all my friends and be like, you know what, dude, I really love you, man. I appreciate you. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but like, but like, you know, it's, and I was like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. Like I'm, I was thinking more vulnerable. Like I'm not going to like go to my homie and be like, man, you know what, dude? I just, you know, I don't know about life anymore, you know? Yeah, but, yeah, like, yeah. I know I could. Yeah. Like, I've known you long enough that if I was in, like, a real bad spot, I know hey, I could come to you and be like, Absolutely. Hey, can I talk to you for a minute, dude? I really got some ish on my mind. Absolutely. Right. And I've been a big proponent lately about giving, like I even earlier today, you know, giving out compliments, appreciating appreciating your friends and those people close yeah. to you, giving them their flowers while they're still here to receive right. them. You can still smell these flowers. Right. Yeah, you told me I was the best stupid person you <laughs> <laughs> were like, and I, you know what? It melted my heart a little bit. I was like, thank you. I'm nobody glad I'm the does. stupidest person you hey, know. Hey, <laughs> nobody do it like you, man. Nobody do it like you. So, anyways, go to thecrazynow.com. Put in the comments what you think love is. For Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.